Now, stakeholders attending a forum on open data were able to realize specific opportunities in Antigua and Barbuda and the Caribbean. The forum was facilitated by Andrew Stott, a senior consultant with the World Bank, and Dr. Morris McNaughton, Director Center of Excellence, Mona School of Business, and one of the principals in the Caribbean Open Institute. Consultant in the Ministry of Telecommunications, Science and Technology, Daryl Jackson, gave an overview of the seminar held Tuesday evening. Now, although the concept of open data is fairly new to the Caribbean, today over 30 countries, 30 national governments have already embarked on open data initiatives with the view of making governments more accountable to its citizens and creating opportunities for improvement in the delivery of government services and promoting more interactive engagement with citizens. Many of these countries are already seeing benefits of going down this path and Antigua and Barbuda and the Caribbean sim simply cannot afford to be left behind. A World Bank consultant explains the benefits of the initiative. Improve public services, better better information services to the, the, the public. Um, believe it or not, governments don't make the best websites always, uh, and they can't cater for all tastes in, in websites. So people are taking government data and presenting it to the public in new formats, in new ways. Open data is the idea that the government should make available to others the non-sensitive, non-personal data which it collects in the course of its operations. Officials from the World Bank and the Caribbean Open Institute on Monday began assessing the nation's readiness for adopting an open data program.